All right, so weird and funny vibes. What does that mean? So I told y'all about when you get bad vibes and bad energy, that's the devil. But there's different vibes you get from people, right? And one thing I learned, when you get weird and funny vibes from someone, that means get ready for them to switch up on you. Get ready. And it's not them. You know, it's not them. Some people are weaker. Um, some people are at war. And let me tell you something about demons, right? How demons work. When someone's at war, the demons, they feed off it. They love it because now not only could they destroy that vessel, they could also use that vessel to destroy others. You know what I'm saying? Those who are uh, are in the righteous path, you know, the narrow path. They could use that vessel to try to destroy you. So you got to be very cautious, man, of weird and funny vibes getting off someone. Pay attention. The signs are there. If you belong to wisdom, if you have wisdom, a little bit of type of wisdom, bro, you're going to be able to detect that. Even back when I was in the world, I would get these type of vibes from someone. And I chose to ignore it because I thought, you know, maybe I'm just tripping. You know, maybe I'm just tripping or whatever, right? And then a few few days, few weeks later, backstab, betrayed, you know. But I, I sh the, the vibes were there, you know. The vibes were there. I, I could have paid attention, you know. But I chose to just, you know, oh, be, you know, be kind, be good, you know, uh, be nice, you know. But the Bible says there's a time for hate. There's a season of hate. Um, just like when Jesus, when he, when he was at the table or when he was at the church and he saw those people, you know, Turning that, you know, to den of thieves. What did he do? Flip the tables, get the whips, chase people with. If Jesus did that today, they would tell, oh, Jesus, that, that's not holy. Or that's not righteous. You know, Jesus will never do that. That's what these little religious people will tell him. These effeminate men will tell him. You know, so you're not, you're not always supposed to be nice and, and all the time, you know, because being nice all the time is how you're going to get used. So have a balance. The Bible even tells you about balance. In Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 16 to 17. It says don't be over righteous and it says don't over be don't, don't be over wicked a balance um ecclesiastes chapter three you know this is um solomon talking he had all the wisdom he even said there's there's a time for everything under the sun and it, there's even a time for war um you know and one thing about, like i said on my last video when you're in war season you want to be sober and uh you might not be at war right but that your loved ones might be at war you know what does the scripture say you know, a man's enemies will be in his own household. The Bible even says, trust ye not in the friend. Why does the most high God tell us to trust ye not in the friend? Because he knows in the last days, the spirit of betrayal will be at an all-time high. You know, a man's enemies will be at his own house. Uh, daughter against her mother, you know, son against his father. You know, he knew that. So he even warns us, you know, do not put your trust in the friend. The Bible even says, curse be a man who puts his trust in man. So don't put your trust in my videos or any conscious creator, uh, conscious content creators. You know, put your trust in the most high, man. But let's get straight into it, man. Uh, more into the weird vibes, you know, funny vibes. You can know someone, man. Pay attention to that. These people are at war. Like I said, the demons, they love that. You know, because now they can work through, they can try to work through you, through them. You know, and um, like, it's not, they're not the devil. You know, when you get weird, bad vibes, bad energy, yeah, that's the devil. But when you're getting weird, funny vibes, that's not the devil. They're just at war. Maybe they're doing some type of witchcraft in secret, or maybe they're trying to give up their sins or trying to leave darkness. The darkness will never let you leave in peace. When I left my darkness for good, I got thrown in the mental hospital. And the, I mean, the war was going crazy, bro. The gang talking got turned up. They got turned up, man. And uh, so just remember that when you're leaving up your sins, your darkness, uh, they're going to turn it up. But you have to remember that you gave them access to turn it up because you were submitted to darkness. You were submitted to your sins and you weren't trying to live a life of repentance and you weren't trying to, you know, live the right, walk in their path. So those demons that you attracted when you were in darkness, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to be used. Those people you were turning up with, partying with, or to get, getting chicks, you know, get your friends, you know, talking to chicks, cracking jokes with, or getting high with, they're, they're going to be your enemies, man. They're Because, you know, what does the Bible say? We wrestle not against flesh and blood. You know, the spiritual wickedness in high places. You have to know that verse. If you call yourself, I'm not going to even say a T.I., but when you call yourself a chosen person or a warrior of the Most High, you have to, you have to know Ephesians chapter 6. That's a must. And uh, so what? You, how you could deal with these, you know, these funny vibes, funny energy, uh, just keep them from a distance. You know, love them from a distance and, and pray for them. You know, pray for them because... They, they, they might not be praying for themselves 
And they might not even know they're being used. They might not even know that the devil is using them or demons are manipulating them. You know, some type of MK Ultra, all that type of stuff, the MK Ultra, V2K, it's all witchcraft. You know, it's mind games, manipulation. It's all witchcraft. You know, when you get put on the program, you know, they want you to kill yourself. I mean, look at Christ. You know, I study Christ because I, I, I strive to live like him. You know, I strive to be like him. Of course, I'm not going to be without sin. But, you know, so what happened to Christ when he fasted for four days? You know, the devil came up to him. And what did the devil tell him? He said, you know, go jump off of the bridge. You know, go, go jump off the cliff. You know, go, go kill yourself. You know, the God, you know, God will, you know, or he said uh, some type of lies. You know, the father of lies. You know, he was lying to him, playing mind games. So that when, you're, when you get put on the program, they want you to cure yourself. Even Satan told, you know, Christ, go kill yourself, you know? And he tried to manipulate him saying that, oh, you won't you won't die or whatever. It's all mind games they play with you. You know, Satan manifests himself to Christ, you know? So, um, you know, this is why I'm big on prayer and fasting. This is how you're really going to break free from the power of the devil, um, you know, from the power of darkness. You know, prayer, fasting, reading your Bible, applying it to your life, um, you know, spending time alone. You know, when you spend more time alone, at least from my experience, I'm more connected to the spirit. And one revelation I received recently, right? When you fast, you have a lot of spiritual power. I don't know why that is, but you have a lot of spiritual power. That's why Christ and Moses, they both fasted four days, four nights. They were spiritually strong. I mean, I struggled to go a week, you know? So that means I'm not even on that level yet. I'm not even close to that level. Um, and a lot of people, they call themselves, oh, they're high level of spirituality, which is... To me, if you're not casting demons out of people, if you're not doing what Christ was doing and disciples were doing, that's high spirituality. All of us, all of us, all content creators, you know, at least what I watch, we're not doing that. So we're not on that type of level yet. And it's okay. You know, they were, you know, it took, I'm pretty sure they didn't receive that power instantly. You know, it took time. You got to be tested, you know, new levels, new devils. God has to trust you before he can give you a certain power. And, uh, you know, you'll be tested many times. Like I said, new levels, new devils. And uh, so, yeah, man, just be very cautious on, you know, the funny vibes, the, f the funny energy, you know, it will come out of nowhere. It's most likely because, you know, demons are using them. Uh, they're going to do something to you. Remember, it all happens in the spiritual realm first before it manifests in the physical realm. So uh, just like when you have demonic dreams, let's say if you have like a, a wet dream, which is a succubus, you got a wet dream, right? And the succubus attack. Now she's going to manifest herself in the physical realm. You got to pay attention, bro. Um... Or let's say if you, you die in your dreams, that was a demon in the spiritual realm who got you. Now in the physical realm, he's going to send stuff your way to, to, to bring spiritual death. You know, the Bible says you know, the wages of sin is death. So they're going to use people to get you to go back to your old ways and the wages of sin is death. So now you're back to being spiritually dead. You know, so the man, the Bible says in Proverbs, the man who wanders, out of, who wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the conjugation of the dead. Wow, bro. All praise to the most high. So be caught. Be very, and like I said, got funny vibes from the energy. That's not the devil. It's just these, you know, they're, they're at war. You know, they either are submitted to their demons or they're unawarely, um, they're unaware, you know, that they're, you know, the, devil, the devil's using them. It could be a woman, you know, the weaker vessel, the devil loves using them. Or it could be a man who has weak flesh, weak spirits. You got to understand Peter, who was a true warrior of the most high. He had a weak flesh, weak spirits. That's why the devil kept using them. So it's not only a, it's not only a woman, you know. So always be cautious. It could be your fellow warrior of the Mo warrior of Christ, you know. Someone who calls himself a warrior of the Most High. So yeah, be cautious of these energies you gain off people, man. Always pay attention. Um, and uh, you know, like I said, the devil has a job to do, and you have a job to do as well too, man. So yeah, peace.